Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. Happy weekend everybody. I hope that you're enjoying yourself. I'm having a pretty leisurely Saturday and have time to hop on here. Please don't forget to check out my website which is wafting.wonderfulwax.sensi.us where I'm Liz Quinn, your certified Sensi consultant. So today I have for you a warm review on the Island Days collection and I'm really excited about this because of all the five bar LTOs that we've had all year. I think this one is probably my favorite. So let's hop right on in. Now first off, I sniffed all of these cold sniff and they were on the subtle side so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be getting when we really started melting them. And some of them have definitely surprised me. Only one do I really not like. There are three that I really like and there's one where I'm sort of undecided and I'm going to need to melt more of it to figure out whether it's going to grow on me or it's just not something that I need more of. So let's start off with the one that was actually the least exciting for me, which was sad because I really, really wanted to like this one. And that is the Sunshine and Tan Lines Bar, which has the cutest packaging and I wanted to love a suntan scent, but... When I melted this, and I will melt it again, but when I melted this, what I got out of it was not what Sensi says. So let's see what Sensi says. They say that Sunshine and Tan Lines is supposed to be orange flower, creamy banana, sunbathed by a sea of whipped coconut. And what I am getting out of this, believe it or not, is like a cocoa powder or cocoa butter background, which is what I think is bothering me, some banana, and something that almost seems foodie rather than suntan lotion. So to me, it's just odd. Like it really smells like cocoa powder, like you would use to bake brownies. And I'm just not liking that with the banana. I almost want to add bakery to this, which seems very wrong. And I don't think that it would really go well, but it's weird. And so I'm afraid that I was thinking it would smell a lot like real beach, which is they're very different, unfortunately, which is one of my gold standards for summer. This smells like suntan lotion. This has that warm, like oily, bronzy macadamia nut. Oh, so good scent that I can't get enough of. This is my last bar of Rio Beach. Yes, I had it in my club a while ago. Yes, I took it out because how many bars can you keep? And now I'm really sad, but you know, I will melt another cube or two of this before I completely give up on it, but it's probably gonna go to my mom's house. She thought this one smelled great. She stopped by yesterday. So then the next one where I'm just sort of undecided, do I like it or do I not like it, is the Driftwood and Jasmine. And this is growing on me. I've had to melt quite a bit of this and move it around the house because I didn't really like it in the front room. I don't know if it was just not enough scent. One of the scent notes in this is coming off a little weird to me. We put it in a bedroom, it was better. And then I put it in my Florida room and I like it in there today. So let's see what Sensi says about this one. The driftwood and jasmine is supposed to be driftwood and jasmine add depth to a beach of Tahitian vanilla. And the more that I smell this bar, the more I'm coming around to it. So the closest thing that I could come up with is actually Coastal Sunset, which is much stronger. Coastal Sunset's got more oomph. But some of the muskiness, there's almost this perfumey muskiness in this driftwood and jasmine that I wasn't expecting. But like I said, the more that I melt it, the more that I like it. But there's a musky, powdery perfuminess to this bar that is really interesting. So I also kind of wanted to compare this one to Kukui and Coconut. And the Kukui and Coconut is warmer. The Kukui and Coconut has a little bit more like it feels, I don't know, Hawaiian or Polynesian. Whereas even though this one is definitely island, it doesn't give me quite that same characteristic. So this is the fascinating one of the bunch where I think I need to get another bar and melt it all the way through before I make a decision whether or not I want to really invest in stocking up on this. I don't think this one's club worthy, but it's definitely fascinating. So that is your driftwood and jasmine. So the sunshine and tan lines was medium. The driftwood and jasmine's medium to medium light, but more intriguing to my nose. Now the other three I loved. So the softest of them is the star fruit and freesia or star apple and freesia and i love the scent profile on this oh this is so light it's a light and happy and summery and sensi says that this is a burst of star apple and tropical mango garnished with pink freesia and i love freesia for some reason that floral always seems to make me happy 
and there's this this just light delicate quality to this it's not a great performer probably best in bedrooms or bathrooms but i like this and it does remind me a good bit of our current desert tropics which is the scent of the month i think they'd melt very nicely next to each other the desert tropics is a little bit more juicy than the star apple and freesia which is more floaty almost more floral fruity this is fruity 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 but they are similar I prefer the performance of this one, but probably the scent profile of this. All right, now the next one, you guys will laugh. You've been hearing me go back and forth about coconuts for coconuts for months, and we've melted all the bars that we had. I've got another one coming. So all I have left is my tester of coconuts for coconuts. It's similar to this beautiful tiare and coconut. I think this one's gonna get clubbed. What coconuts for coconuts disappointed me in because I've grown to really like this bar but it has notes in combination that weren't quite what my mind said I want this to smell like. It's good and strong, it's a great performer, but this tiare and coconut, now that I'm used to the tiare flower from Coconuts for Coconuts, I don't know if without that bar I would love this one, but I've had all summer to get used to that note in the other bar. Oh man, this is the perfect light floral tropical scent. Like I want to buy the perfume. I want this in suntan lotion. I want this in a candle. I want this in all the things. So Sensi says that this is silky tiare flower and coconut. Enjoy a breathtaking sparkling citrus sunset. And I wonder if it's the citrus, which isn't in Coconuts for Coconuts, that balances this one out for me. It is the most beautiful tropical, islandy, delicate, oh, florally thing. I am in love. Performance is good. It's like a good solid medium. In some people's homes, it might even be medium strong. I mixed this in alternating warmers with coconut lemongrass yesterday. It was gorgeous. And I really am mad that I don't have my coconuts for coconuts so I can melt them at the same time. They'd be amazing in different rooms. Less coconuts for coconuts because that one is very strong. And this is not quite as strong as that, but wow. I'm loving this bar and I love the packaging. But surprisingly, the last one is my favorite and I think this is going to my club. And that is the Salted Bergamot Breeze. This bar is a winner. So this is what Sensi says about it. A refreshing ocean breeze carries hints of pineapple to groves of salted bergamot. So I'm gonna show you a couple of other bars that I love for summertime from Sensi. Oh, and this thing is great on performance. It's good and strong. Now being an aquatic, it's not gonna hit you the same way that say a spice scent or a really woody scent would because aquatics are floaty in the air, but it's almost as though palm trees and ocean breeze and Atlantic air had a baby. This is so good guys. Oh my gosh, this bar is phenomenal if you love either or both of these because Atlantic Air is very gentle, but it's got the most salt of all the bars that we have in the current catalog. It's got salt. It's got more of like a North Atlantic, it says Atlantic Air, North Atlantic feel to the air and that little hint of orchid. And then the palm trees and ocean breeze is fruitier and very warm, like, like turquoise waters. Oh, it's so good. So you take the best parts of both of those bars and you get salted bergamot breeze, which it's amazing to me. I am just in love with this. Oh, it's so good because this one has the pineapple and the ocean breeze and then the salt and then the little bit of bergamot, which is a really interesting citrus oil, but oh my gosh, phenomenal. So I am... I'm toying with just getting another bundle because I want more of this like now and I would have to wait until the 25th, which is when this launches. As consultants, we can buy two bundles ahead of time when we get this type of LTO opportunity. So I got the one just to be cautious. And I might go back in and use my card, so to speak, to get a second bundle. Probably Sunshine and Tan Lines will go to my mother because I just, I just don't care for it. And I'm really sad. Maybe I'll try mixing it with something, but there is just a note in it that just reminds me of cocoa powder. It's weird. Um, anyway, so then we have the jasmine and driftwood, which intrigues me and I need to kind of fiddle around with that some more. I definitely want to buy a couple more of the star apple and freesia. And then I don't know whether I will club tiara and coconut or just get a bunch of it, but that one 
and the Salted Bergamot Breeze. This is my favorite total collection of all our limited time offers. My favorite bar so far has definitely been relaxed from the vitamin collection that we had earlier, like in February, but as a group, these have been totally transporting. I want to like throw the tiara and coconut in all the warmers in my house and <laughs> go get on a swimsuit and uh, get a fake pina colada and just sit down. So, so good. So I hope that you guys are ready to order on the 25th between 9.30 and 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. So for us Easterners, we gotta wait a little bit longer in the day to get on. But I just think this will set the mood for that hot part of August where you still kinda wanna hold on to summertime and you're not quite ready for fall. And you can buy these individually, you can buy the bundle for $25, and then you can obviously put any of these in your club. I will say these are really unique to me like the whole group, the personality of each bar, they are similar to other things that I've showed you on the table, but they are each unique in their own slot. And I am one of those people where I want the bar for every concept. So like the tiara and coconut nailed it for that summery, suntan, floaty smell, florally, suntan-y, floaty smell. I'm loving it. That salted bergamot breeze really hits the nail on the head. Atlantic air, I would prefer to melt more year round, I think but that salted bergamot breeze is phenomenal. And the star apple and freesia surprised me. It's not going to be a great performer, but it has the most beautiful balance and blend of notes to my nose. Absolutely amazing. So I hope that if you guys are into islandy collections that you definitely give these a try. I think that they are worth it. And I hope that you guys like sunshine and tan lines better than I did because I really wanted to. How could you not want that in your club? That is the cutest packaging ever, but anyway. So have a great day, guys, and uh, I hope you like my little bit of new decor. We're slowly moving into new things. It'll be about a month before, um, before my sofa gets here, but it'll be here and the carpet. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.